so wrong. What's going on? This is stupid. Right, morning fellas, welcome back to another Villa on Tour video today. Manchester United away in the FA Cup. Now, I absolutely love the FA Cup. I absolutely love it. Just every single round, there's giant killings every year. Our friend of the channel, Fusion Josh, went to Cambridge against Newcastle yesterday, where League One Cambridge beat Premier League Newcastle away. 5,000 Cambridge fans going up there. James, who's coming on the coach later, is a Kidderminster Harriers fan as well. He was there yesterday. Pitch Invasion, Tier 6 Kidderminster beat the uh, former Premier League side, Reading. It's absolutely unbelievable some of the results and stories that the FA Cup can create. It's life changing for some clubs and I absolutely love the FA Cup, I really do. Now Villa last won the FA Cup in 1957, it's a trophy that the majority of Villa fans haven't seen us win, um, so I'd absolutely love to win it, I would give anything to win the FA Cup. But you could start off easier than Manchester United away, let's put it that way, we always seem to get Manchester United in the FA Cup, we have done a fair few times in the last 20 years or so, and uh, yeah, it doesn't always go so well, but look, we've got good memories at Old Trafford, we beat them there obviously earlier on in this season, 1-0 with a last minute Courtney Hawes winner, I'll take that again today please, I think we'll go full strength today, I really do, and I don't see any problem with that, look, we're mid-table in the Premier League, and uh, we haven't really got any, anything serious to play for, and the FA Cup is a good way of actually getting into Europe, because if you win it, obviously you get that spot in Europe, so it's a good way to do it. Man United are in a little bit of trouble. I know since Ralph's gone in, they haven't really been the happiest camp in the world. Um, obviously lost to Wolves in the Premier League at home last week. And yeah, it's not really going too well. And uh, he slagged off the cup competitions before, so hopefully they'll uh, rotate a little bit and Villa will have a stronger chance. But look, I'd love to win the FA Cup. Let's go there and create an upset. But just before we do, if you do go on to enjoy this video, please do smash a like on it. If we can smash a thousand likes, which I know we can, that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Lots of content on the way. And uh, of course, course go and check out Luke 1977 lots of sales going on over there because it's the new year lots and lots of sales to so go and check it out lots of class gear of course as always over at Luke but without further ado let's get to Old Trafford 3,000 Villa fans go in let's cause an upset up the Villa boys how are we sorry I'm good mate are you up for the cop yeah, like, you know what? I love the FA Cup, and I say this every year. I think I said on the vlog a few years ago that it's going to be our year. So, yeah, it's, it's a tough way to start, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's not the it's not the draw you want. The draw we seem to always get. Um, we'll see see what side turns up. We'll give it a go. Depends what Villa turns up, really, doesn't it? If we're stronger the back, we always got a chance of winning. But hard go. What about today then? What about today? The important one. If we win either today or Saturday, it's going to be tonight, isn't it? If we win yeah. tonight, they give us confidence. To Saturday, um, if you want a prediction? Go on. Being brave, I'll go 1 0 Villa. Ooh. It'll be dirty, it'll be scrappy. And just like last time, I'm going to go Esri Conza. Flick on, rolled in. I don't know how it, I don't care Love how it. it goes in. Up the Villa, son. Up the Villa. We're in then, Old Trafford, United, FA Cup. Um, I like the team, it's fairly strong. Um, United's team is okay, there's no Ronaldo to be seen anywhere, but it's still fairly strong to Hayo Varane, McTominay, Fred, Rashford, etc. So, fairly strong sides from both sides, but predictions, 1-1 one, one today, and then we'll go to extra time and we'll lose. Big call, cool, but we'll lose an extra time, James. How are Big we? man. Long time no see. You went to Kidderminster. I did, mate. You went to Kidderminster on Saturday. Massive yeah. upset. Big Kidderminster fan. Are we going to see an upset here tonight Bye. with the Villa boys? I want to finish this magical, epic weekend off. I want two wins at two. I'll say 2 0 Villa. Nah, he's always far too confident. Elliot. Well, are we on? Here he is. Here he is. <laughs> he loves the confident prediction. What are we saying today then, sir? Um, do you know what? I'm confident again. I reckon it's 2 0. 2 0. Why is everyone so confident? Nah. They just haven't got the. Uh, they've been. It, they've been struggling at that. Yeah, they've had real bad form. Obviously, they've fallen out with the manager as well. Yeah. Oh, Ronaldo out of the squad as well. So no like, pressure on Villa. I know. Let's oh, cause an upset. I think we've got nothing to lose. Tonight. Exactly, go nothing to Strong lose. Team. Go for it. Libby, what's your score prediction today? I'm going to say 1 0, 2 0, and I think the kid is going to have a strike. Love it. Give us something, Villa. Come Stevie G. They don't like him here. Come on, Stevie. Come on! Oh, I forgot 
God's sake, man. Easy header, 1 0. Oh! We've had a real couple of clear cut chances there to make it 1 1. Shoot! Oh my word! Up on a loose ball, it's the bar. Oh my god! Listen, right, this is winding me up. How many chances? Shall we sing a song for you? Fat, fat, target! You're just a fat, fat, target! Oh, he loves it. Fair play, fair play. How we how 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 haven't we scored? Well, I don't know, it's a really sloppy goal to concede. Um, but besides that, we've probably been, I wouldn't say the better side. Oh, we've I think we have. More, we've had a lot more of the ball. They, they're there, couple, they're, uh, they're Watkins, there for the taking. Watkins is one of them. I didn't think he was going to cut inside and he's hit the bar somehow, but actually, no, he, he, he probably should score. We should have taken it. Yeah. The, the back four, okay, maybe Tigers have been a little bit ropey, but the back four have been really, I think Cash had a good game so far. Con's had a good game, he's looked in control, but the goal is really sloppy, it is really sloppy. And I cannot believe we're losing. Yeah, it's just one of them, because you know I really haven't, I mean, besides the Rashford chance at the end, yeah. they've really not offered a great deal. Fine about that. They're moaning about something. They're moaning about something. There is VAR, really, of course. They're checking something. Somebody fell over. You know what Man United are like. They're taking their time. I don't know why it so long. I know there's a great deal wrong. They're taking their time. If it's on the keeper, it'll just Nah, it was, it was before that. There was a push somewhere. But they're taking their time. Clear and obvious. It's taking so long. What's going on? It's got to be clear and obvious. It's got to be clear and obvious. It can't be clear and obvious that they've looked at it for that long. Come on, Villa. Well, um, a fairly eventful night in the FA Cup, uh, <laughs> to put it lightly. When are we going to win a trophy again? I just, I just want to win something. Um, but going on to the game, blah, let's start with VAR, right? It's an absolute, absolute shambles. You could see in the video that we stood there and it goes on for well over three and a half, four minutes. Um, they look at an offside, a handball, this, that, another offside, a handball, is he offside, is he offside? And then they don't find anything there, so they go back in time to the Ramsey and Cavani incident where there's a push where Cavani literally runs into Ramsey. Ramsey st stood his ground, what's he meant to do? Cavani runs into him, of course, theatrically throws his arms up and it's a foul. But they've they've gone past that so it, it's not clear and obvious because they've gone past that to look at the offside they've gone back in time and not going chronologically they don't even know what they're looking at that's the most annoying thing they don't know what they're looking at they're nitpicking they're trying their hardest to find something to rule out the goal and 
I don't want to use the word corrupt because it's not, but it, it feels like it sometimes. And with the big six bias, people have been talking about it, and it's so, so plain to see these days. It's absolutely mental. And if you put the shoe on the other foot, and if roles were reversed, and that's a Man United free kick, and Ramsey runs into Cavani, do you think that goal would get ruled out? Like, it just wouldn't. It just wouldn't get ruled out. Because um, it's little old Villa and Man United are protesting and being all theatrical like they do and the crowd's on their side, the referees love it. It's just so, so, so infuriating and it really does get on my nerves and it's just ruined it to be fair. And another thing as well is how is VAR allowed in some FA Cup games and not others? That's It should be the same across the whole competition. Either have it or you don't. You don't have it in some games and not in others. How's that fair? I thought we were brilliant last night, to be fair. We just couldn't. It was just one of them games. It wasn't our day at all. We just couldn't finish our dinner. I think we were creating a lot of opportunities. Obviously, Ollie Watkins hits the bar in the first half. We do really, really well, but it just wasn't to be, and we literally couldn't finish our dinner. I think that is the worst Man United side I've, I've ever seen in person. They were absolutely dreadful, absolutely horrible last night at Man United, and they were there for the taking, which is probably the most annoying thing. Um... But hey, that's classic Man United, isn't it? And that's classic Villa in the FA Cup against them. So what can you do? I think it's encouraging going into Saturday. I think it will give us a lot of confidence. I think Saturday will be a really, really feisty game. Half five, evening kickoff at Villa Park. It should be a really, really good one. And I think we'll give it a good go in that one. And we hopefully get the win this time. But hey, what can you do? VAR's a shambles. The refs love the big six. And uh, little old Villa go out the cup again. But what can you do? We'll be there on Saturday against Man United. Hopefully we can get back on form in the cup. I shall see you then. Please do leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I shall see you in a bit. Up the villa.